It's almost like you have to develop a level of gratitude towards the bad stuff that you've had in your life. 100%. Because the gratitude towards it of, of thank God that happened to me or that I did that because if that had not happened, this now in the future, I would not see this way. A crazy situation um, took my business away from me that was you know, completely out of my control. Um, a couple weeks or a couple months after that, I uh, found out that my wife, um, who we had been dating all through, all through college and I got married right after school, had been having an affair for a long time and uh, went through that process of me trying to make it work um, and going through counseling and her still being with him and uh, finally ultimately culminating in, in us getting a divorce, which was very, very difficult. I ended up going to Ohio to help a friend launch a business up there. I was up there for about six or seven months and really just like hit the peak of my drinking and just being an idiot, like just partying all the time. Uh, but it's funny, when I was in Ohio, I was renting out this room inside a basement. It was like in, the, in an, an interior room inside of a basement. So it was like, <laughs> like no windows. And it was like the first time I'd ever found myself like truly, truly alone. I was broke, I was in debt, I was out of shape, I was depressed, lonely, the list could go on. And there were some moments in that basement where I felt like God had purposely put me there and said, hey, I needed some stuff to happen in your life so I could finally get you alone so you could finally cut out the noise and, and finally hear me. Like you could finally get to a place where we could actually talk and get to know each other. And there were some of the most transformative um, nights of my life in that basement of that guy's house that I was living with. As I look back at my story, my personal story, I can see every single thing that happened. And, and at the time when it was happening, I felt like I was being rejected from something. But now looking back, I know that it was more, I was being redirected towards something better. Yeah. And I can laugh about it now because of the fact that like I know that those things happen for me, not to me. You guys have all heard that, but it's so important. And I am the person that I am now because of that. That was four and a half years ago. Um, I love that it was four and a half years ago because I can feel it. Like in this moment, I can feel what it felt like. And it was horrible, terrible, a lot of pain, a lot of struggle. But that now I'm grateful and know that it happened for me, uh, like Matt said, not to me. And, and that, the affair, I'm so grateful that, that that affair happened because I'm the husband that I am today because of it. I'm the father that I am today because of it. And I know I wouldn't be half the father and half the husband had I not gone through that and realized in the areas that I needed to step it up uh, in my life. Uh, the business failure, I'm the business person I am today because of that happening. Um, and so I, yeah, I'm extremely grateful for having gone through that pain. And so for the people watching this, the people that are listening, to know that we talk about patience, we talk about you know all these things, but like it can happen quickly. So if you can do, if if you can not only love but actually develop gratitude to where you're actually grateful for that terrible, terrible, terrible thing, which is far easier said than done. Far but easier. if you can get there, then you unlock levels of power that you've never that are, exactly. un are unseen. Right.